Hello Calc Kids! Welcome back to another lesson in calculus. This is Mr. Bean and today we're going to focus in on P series. We'll also touch a little bit on what's called a harmonic series and explain that, but most of this lesson is going to be focused in on P series. So here is our first little thing of what a P series is. So we're going to say a P is a positive constant and it's in the denominator. So P is this exponent right there of all of the of this series and so it's n to the p so that just means if we're doing a, a, a series it's 1 to the p plus 1 over 2 to the p plus 1 over 3 to the p etc etc all the way off to infinity that is a p series as long as that exponent p is a positive constant now how do we know if it's converging or diverging if the value of p is larger than 1 it's going to converge so if this p is larger than 1 it's converging the series is going to diverge if the value of p is in between 0 and 1. Now why 0? Because if it was less than 0 it would be negative and then that would not be a, a p series anymore because it would not be 1 over. If you had a negative there it would jump up to the top. All right. So if it, the p value is in between 0 and 1, that exponent, then it is diverging. If it's larger than 1, it's converging. And we got to make sure we get this straight because that's different than stuff we've seen before, like with uh, geometric series, it's a little different. So we've got to tie this into, well, I'll tell you how I think about it. And that is just, if I see that this number one is large, like if we say it's bigger and bigger and bigger than one, like 500, one to the 500, two to the 500, three to the 500 and so forth, that's basically just going to become one over infinity. So that whole thing is zero. And so I, I helps me to remember that and that helps me to know that it's converging. Hopefully that made sense what I just said. But if that didn't, just remember if P is larger than one. Okay, so now what is a harmonic series? A harmonic series is a special type of P series in which the exponent N of N right here is just the number one. It's just a little tiny one that we don't have to write in there because it's understood that that's what it is. So it's one plus one half plus one third. Now a harmonic series diverges. We can write that down here if you want to make sure you know that. A harmonic series diverges. We are going to talk about alternating harmonic series later on. I think it might even be the next lesson. Uh, but don't worry about alternating. If you don't know what that is, then don't worry about it. But if you're looking for alternating harmonic series, that's going to be uh, later on in Unit 10. In fact, it's two lessons from now. So this is 10.5. We're going to be when we get to 10.7. Okay, so have that stuff written down. And now let's begin some practice. First example, does this series converge or diverge? So what we're doing is recognizing if it's a P series. A P series is not a test. Okay, we don't have a test for a P series uh, like we do some of the other things like the nth term test or an integral test. We're just trying to identify if it is a p series or not. So that's the first step. So yes, this is 1 over something raised to a power. So in this case, the p value is going to be 3. And since p is larger than 1, that is how we know it converges. And that's all you have to do. You recognize if it's a p series or not. And then once you do, you, you identify what the value of p is, and then you know if it's converging or diverging. So here we have, uh, is this a p series? So it's 1 over this is the same thing as n raised to the 1 half. So 1 over something raised to a power. Yes, this is a p series. The value of p is 1 half. Now in this case, p is in between 0 and 1. Therefore, this series, whoops, I started writing converging. This series diverges. There we go. So the series diverges. Now, I want to make sure you understand the difference between when you have this versus when you have a geometric series. So for example, if I have 1 over 3 raised to the p, like this, or raised to the n. Sorry, let's do that. Well, that's the same thing as just saying 1 third being raised to the nth power. This is geometric. So don't get geometric confused with a p-series. You have to be able to identify the difference here. Here, with a p-series, the n is the base. And the, your exponent, the number of the exponent, tells you whether or not is going to converge or diverge. With a geometric, the exponent up here is the variable, whereas the number that you're looking at, so for a geometric series, since r is less than 1, this is going to converge. Now, do you see how that's confusing? Because here we're talking about that ratio right here. The common ratio is less than 1, so it converges. But that's completely the opposite of what we do with a P series. If the value of P is greater than 1, then it converges here. So yes, this is confusing. You've got to get these straight because you will see both of these types of problems in the practice today. So just to make sure you can keep them straight. 
All right, a few more types of problems that you will see today in the practice, and that is here we have what, what value of k would make this thing converge? Well, this is just saying we have n raised to some value of p, right? But in this case, what is p? p equals 2k minus 5. So really, we're just focusing in on how can we make this exponent, 2k minus 5, in order for it to converge, it would have to be larger than 1. So we say it's larger than 1, and then solve it from there. So we get 2k is greater than 6, and k is greater than 3. And then that's it. So if k is greater than 3, this series will converge. If it's less than or equal to 3, this series will diverge. All right, now this one. So I'm going to uh, write this one out as, you might have to do some manipulation first before you start thinking through this. So this is the same thing as n raised to the 2k plus 1. And why is that? Because it, remember this is back in actually uh, pre-algebra, way back in middle school, where if you're multiplying bases that are the same, you add their exponents. So it's 2k plus 1. So that means that's my p, the exponent is 2k plus 1, and I want 2k plus 1 to be greater than 1. And so then once you have that set up, you just solve it from there. And you end up with k is greater than 0. Okay, As long as k is greater than 0, this thing's going to converge. All right, this one, this is the, uh, this is the one that's more difficult. So the way you write this is you take this fraction, and I'm going to, uh, we need this to be a 1 on top, so I'm going to factor around an n. So I have a 1 on top, so that's n over. And then I'm also going to take an n out of here. And the reason is because when you take the n out of here, this now becomes n raised to the 4k minus 1, because I divided the n out of it, so it's going to be minus 1, plus, now how can I take an n out of this if it's not there? You write it as 5 divided by n. All right, now this looks weird, but what's going to happen is this whole thing is basically just going to be gone. We don't have to worry about that. It's just 1. And then as you go to infinity, this little fraction right here is going to be 5 over super large number. You can kind of just ignore this, and you're just focused now in on the 4k minus 1. That is the p. And so that's how you do these weird ones. You say that that has to be greater than 1, and then you solve it from there. So k would have to be greater than 1 half. So again, this one's pretty tricky. If you see something like this, where you have this n raised to the something plus another number, factor out the n, and you'll end up with something like this denominator. And then from there, you should be able to just see it's just that, that exponent there that you have to set greater than 1 in order to make it converge. Okay, so that is everything. I just wanted to review real quick with you. This is a fast lesson. Let's review the things that you now need to be recognizing. So we just covered uh, P-series today. We didn't really do much at all with harmonic. It was just recognizing harmonic is a special type of P-series where it's uh, n to the first power, 1 over n to the first power. That's harmonic. So let's talk about these real quick and remind ourselves. You're now starting to try to recognize geometric, nth term test for divergence, and the integral test and what these things mean. So just remember, this is from our notes earlier this unit, geometric infinite series. How do we know if it's converging? It's whether the ratio... Remember, you have some ratio being raised to a power, n. It's right there, that r raised. And if r is larger than 1, it's diverging. If that absolute value of r is less than 1, it's going to converge. And then what is it converging to? You can do this, where you have the first term over 1 minus the r common ratio. Okay, so that's just a quick review to remind us. Again, remember this less than or greater than. That is very different than the p-series. It's the other direction for converging and diverging for our, uh, our p-series test for greater than 1, less than 1. All right, now what about the nth term test? Remember this? The nth term test is where you just take, it's kind of like where we look at the horizontal asymptotes. You just take this a of n and you have the limit as n approaches infinity. And as long as it doesn't equal 0, then it diverges. We can't say that if it equals 0, then it converges. We don't know that. It might converge or diverge. But if it does not equal 0, if it's anything other than 0, we know for sure it diverges. Okay, that's the nth term test. And then the last one is a reminder, the integral test. This one's the easy one. If you have a summation notation, uh, you can just do the same thing as doing an integral and, uh, and figure out if the integral converges or diverges. Because whatever that one does, the summation, the series will be doing the same thing. Okay, so that's a nice quick little review, and that's everything. So rock that master check. I will see you back in our next lesson.